Welcome to a lesson on adding and subtracting decimals. Here are the steps we need to follow in order to add and subtract decimals. Number one, we'll write the numbers vertically and line up the decimal points as well as the digits in the same place value. Then we're going to add zeros to the right so each number has the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Then we'll bring the decimal point down into the summer difference and then we'll add or subtract as we normally would. Let's go and look at some examples. The first thing I notice on this problem here is that seven does not show a decimal point. Remember it would be right after the seven right there. So let's go ahead and write this vertically and line up the decimal points. Notice the last number has four digits to the right of the decimal. So we're going to add zeros to the other numbers so they also have four digits to the right of the decimal. This would require two zeros, this would require four zeros, this would require three zeros. This keeps everything nice and organized to make sure that we do add the digits in the same place value. The reason that's so important is if we tried to add digits that were not in the same place value, that would be very similar to trying to add fractions without a common denominator, which as you know does not work. Okay, now we'll go ahead and bring the decimal point down into our sum, and now we can just add this as we normally would, working our way from right to left. So here we have eight, here we have four, and we have seven, here we have 11, so we'll have to carry one, and we add this column, we're gonna have six plus seven, that's 13, plus two, that's 15, carry the one, so we have 25 and 1,748 ten thousandths. And that would be our sum. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's go ahead and write this vertically. Now this number has three digits to the right of the decimal, so let's make sure that all the other numbers have the same by adding zeros. This will require three zeros, this will require two zeros, this will require one zero. So one of the most important things on adding these is that we keep our work organized and everything's lined up nicely. Next, just so we don't forget, let's go ahead and bring our decimal down into our sum. Now we'll work our way from right to left. So here we have a five, we have nine, here we're gonna have 15 plus two, that's 17, so we'll carry one. We have six plus nine, that's 15, plus five, that's 20, carry a two. Two plus seven will be nine, plus one, that'd be 10. Carry a one into the hundreds, so we have one in the hundreds and one in the thousands. 1,100 and 795 thousandths. Let's take a look at a couple subtraction problems now. The idea is pretty much the same. We're going to line this up vertically. Notice this has three digits to the right of the decimal. So we'll go ahead and add an extra zero here. We'll bring the decimal down. Now we'll subtract as we normally would. We're going to have to borrow here, so we'll change this to a 4, and now we have a 10. 10 minus 5 would be 5. We have 4 minus 2, that'd be 2. 7 minus 1 would be 6. Now here we're going to have to borrow again, so we'll change this 2 to a 1, and now we have 11 in the 1's column. 11 minus 7 will be 4, and here we have 11 minus 8, that would be 3. 34 and 625 thousandths. And let's go ahead and try one more. As a reminder, the decimal point on the three would be here. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as three minus 1.007. We'll go ahead and add three extra zeros here on the right. Remember, as long as that decimal point is there, we're not changing the value of anything. Next, we'll bring the decimal point down. Now we see we're going to have to borrow. 
but we're going to have to borrow all the way from the 1. So we'll change this to a 2. And this is going to be a 9, this will be a 9, and this will be a 10. So now we can go ahead and subtract. 10 minus 7, that would be 3. 9 minus 0, 9 minus 0. And 2 minus 1 would be 1. Well, that's pretty much it for adding and subtracting decimals. If you keep your work organized and line everything up correctly, it should work out very well for you. Thank you for watching.